guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different makeup tutorial for me. I saw this picture of Kendall Jenner on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to recreate that look running. I love it. I think it's absolutely perfect for spring. It is so strobey, just so fresh, clean, and glowing skin. In this tutorial, the main attraction is going to be the face, not the eyes. It takes us two seconds pretty much to do our eye makeup today, but the face is what we're really going to be working on today, just getting that fresh, glowy skin. Minus my friend here. We're going to name him Frederick. Let's name him Fred. And I'm also going to be using in today's... Ooh, it's got fingerprints all over. Let me clean that off real quick. I'm going to be using a brand new palette by Pure that hasn't even launched yet. It launches on the 30th of this month. So mark your calendars because it's their new strobing palette. I used all three colors in this palette for this tutorial today. And this is their Sun Kiss Glow. And they have a, a Moon Glow palette as well. But today I'm going to be using the Sun Kiss Glow one. So freaking gorgeous. The bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. It's just a strobing palette and we use it all over the face today I'm going to show you how to put it into good use be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave for more tutorials more talking videos more random stuff that I'll be putting up on this channel we're gonna jump right in and get started and I hope you're ready Strobe light. starting out I've already primed my skin with my Marc Jacobs this is the invisible undercover primer and it does a really great job in hydrating the skin my skin is somewhat dry at this point however this part of my face not behaving very nice. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of primer water from Smashbox just to help prime the skin a little bit more. I mostly use that Marc Jacobs primer just to add moisture to my skin. Today I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I'm in shade Y365. Mine has my name engraved on it. I'm going to be using just a wet beauty blender to blend all of this out. My skin's kind of dry, like I said before, so actually using a wet beauty blender, I learned this like this last year that it helps retain moisture into the skin by pressing a wet beauty blender. And we're also going for very dewy, strobed out looks, so this is going to help with that too. If you have extremely oily skin, a wet beauty blender may not be a good thing to use all the time. You might just want to stick with like a kabuki brush blending out your product. Now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to be going in with my NYX Ultra HD Concealer. And I'm just going to apply this to the under eye. Those dark bags are lingering. I'm going to just go ahead and highlight my face. Next up, I'm going to go in with a little bit of setting powder by Laura Mercier, and I'm just going to set everything. It helps lock and load it, and that way it doesn't crease up and get all crazy. Now that I look like I've been baking cookies all day, I'm going to let this set here for like five minutes, maybe a little less, and then I'll just dust it all away. Next, I'm going to take this Morphe E57 brush and a little bit of this brown contour color from Makeup Forever. And we're actually going to do a bit of cream contouring. Anytime I do any type of Jenner or Kardashian makeup, I tend to cream contour a little bit. I'm going to take this F77 chiseled contour brush and kind of move the cream product around a bit. And then I'll blend it out with my beauty blender. And dampen my beauty blender to make everything more blendable. A little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Now that that's blended all out, we're going to go in for the main attraction, which this is the Sun Kiss Glow Palette. I'm going in with the bronzy shade right here, which is just a beautiful shimmery brown color. It's really going to bronze up our skin. I'm just going to dab it with my beauty blender. And we're just going to intensify that contour and give us a little bit more of a bronze kiss, sun kiss look. I love the way bronze skin looks. It's just so pretty. Especially right there on the temples where the sunlight naturally hits your face. It just looks like a very beautiful, natural, bronzed up look. Next up, I'm going to continue to use this palette. I'm going to go in with this beautiful, like, I want to call it rose gold. It's like a peach with a little bit of a champagne color within it. I'm going to take the butt of the beauty blender and just kind of boop, boop, boop. I'm going to actually use that as kind of like our blush. What 
what I'm actually going to do is go in with a smidge of Max Bronzy Cheek, or what is this, Cheeky Bronze, I'm just making up names, and I mean just a smidge and kind of set that uh, cheek color. Okay, lastly, my favorite part is going in with this shade right here, which is just an absolutely gorgeous highlight shade. I'm going to take my finger, and you know we about to highlight that nose. Ugh. The cheek bones are like the main event here. A little bit more and get that cupid's bow really well. I'm also going to grab a little bit and hit the temples with it. This is just a strobing method and it's really pretty. You can also just go ahead and drag it up around. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to take a smidge of this little light taupey brown color called Cork by MAC. I'm going to pop it just right there in the crease and blend it all over really. But keeping it kind of low into the crease. I'm going to take Crimper from ColourPop and with my finger I'm just going to apply this right to the lid by pressing it on. It's such a gorgeous color. I'll take a bit of this highlighting shade from the strobe palette and apply it to the inner corners and like that tear duct area. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Nylon by MAC which is one of my favorite favorite colors. I've had this color forever and a day because it only takes a dot of the color. It goes such a long way. And we're just going to apply that right on top to set that uh, strobe color. I'll also go ahead and apply a little bit of this nylon to the brow bone. Highlight them brows. Next I'll take this liner pencil and I'm just going to fill in the waterline with a nude color. It's going to open up the eyes. Oh, looks so weird when I do this on camera. I feel like I just made myself look really sleepy because I don't have any mascara on yet, but just wait, it gets better. Something that I've recently learned to do just because my lashes are so dark and when I put such a light color and try to put lashes, fake lashes on top of my real ones, you can see like in between where they don't meet. So I've been putting like this very thin uh, strip of liner across the lower lash line every time I don't wear wing liner. We're not gonna be wearing I have an itch, I'm not picking my nose. But we're not gonna be wearing wing liner today, so I'm gonna do just that very thin strip, and it helps to define the eyes a little bit too. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my fully charged mascara, and I'm gonna apply this to the lashes, because where else would I apply a mascara? <laughs> I love when I say things like, I'm gonna apply my mascara to the lashes now. Well, of course you are, Laura. Of course you are. I'm going to apply these very wispy lashes called Raquel by Huda Beauty. Um, I'm going to apply these to, see, here I go again. I'm going to apply these to my upper lash line. Where else are you going to apply them? To your nose. <laughs> Kendall's lips are so faintly colored. Really, they're not even colored. It looks like she just has a, I'm looking down at a picture of her. It looks like she just has a sheer gloss on. I have a Thedral by Jouer Cosmetics, which pretty much just looks identical to what she has on. It looks like she has a smidge of color underneath. So something weird that I'm going to do is take this cream blush from Smashbox. It's called Silver Lake Sunset. And I'm just gonna apply this to my lips. Mm-hmm. We get weird up in here. And then I'm gonna apply a Thedro by Jouer on top. I'm glossy instead of flossy. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this color and just make sure it's just over the top. The last step is to spritz your face with a little bit of MAC Fox Plus. 